Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over how to manage users through Total Connect. Now I'm going to be using both an iOS device and an Android device to show you guys the different layouts that the app has on them. And I'm going to be using the L7000 and adding a user in there and showing you guys how to transfer the code over to the panel. So first things first, you want to go ahead and open up the application on your Android and iOS device. I'm going to go ahead and hit both of them. So they open up at the same time. Now mine's already logged in, so it's gonna take me to the main screen. You always, if you don't have the auto sign in or they remember me, you're gonna have to put in your username and password. If you forget it, you can always contact your monitoring company and they'd be more than happy to help you out. We're also a monitoring company, which you can contact us and we'll get you that information for you. Um, so Total Connect opens up to the main screen here. Uh, first thing you wanna do, is uh, if you want to manage your user, you'll see that the navigation bar is actually placed differently on both the uh, different operating softwares here. So on the iOS device, the navigation bar is at the bottom and it actually says users, so it's pretty easy to navigate to. So once you hit users, it's gonna take you to all of the users. Now, for my iPad, uh, my Total Connect account is actually linked to multiple panels, so you're going to see a couple of different users on there. Um, on the Android tablet, to get to the users, the navigation bar is at the top. And you actually have to hit in the top left corner, there's three vertical lines on top of each other. We call it the hamburger sign. Once you click the hamburger sign, if you guys have been on the website, uh, it looks, it brings up the navigation bar exactly how it looks on the website. So it pulls up a little sidebar and then you have to go to settings to get to users. Once you go to settings, it gives you your different sub menus to the left and I'm going to go ahead and hit users. Again, this should display the same information that the iOS device gives you. It's just both apps have a different layout. So you have to get to the things and to the menus differently. Uh, but both apps do display the same information. Uh, okay, so first thing we're going to want to go ahead and do, I'm going to show you guys how to add a simple panel user. I'm going to show this from the iOS device. So on the iOS device, to the top right, and on the Android, to the top right, there's a person with, there's a person icon with a plus sign. If you hit the person icon with the plus sign, it'll say add user. Now, since I only want to add a panel only, I'm gonna go ahead and do panel only. This is gonna be a user that would be limited to the security panel only. So they won't have their own total connect login or anything like that. I'll show you guys how to do that right after this one. So I'm gonna do panel only. It's gonna bring up the screen. It's gonna ask me for a name. Uh, the first name I'll put, I'll type in user and then test again it gives you the user type sorry give me a moment it gives you the user type you can actually change it through here if you change your mind halfway if you don't want it to be panel only and you want to switch it to an actual total connect user you can always open up that drop down all right um user access now this is going to be what system you want to add this user to. As I told you, I have multiple systems on this Total Connect account, so it's gonna give me all the accounts that I have. I have the L7000, the Vista 15P, and the 21IP. I just wanna work on the L7000, so I'm gonna do L7000 only. If you wanted to add a user code to every single location you have, you would just do select all and it would check mark them all. For instance, select all, boom. You can deselect all. I'm just gonna do the L7000. And I'm gonna go ahead and do create user. It's gonna, oh, I wasn't able to finish it because I didn't add a user code. Yeah, so the user code is actually requested right underneath. You'll see user code, it says show. And I'm gonna give it a user code of 5432. Now, if you wanna make sure you typed it in right, just go ahead and hit the, the button that says show. You see 5432. And then you can choose whether or not you wanna to apply to this location only, or 
if you have the other location selected, you can do apply to the uh, apply to all selected locations. I'm going to do apply to this location only, and then once I hit create user, it should not give me any more errors, and it should just allow me to create it. Now it'll give me a prompt. It says that a user code has been updated in the application. Uh, it's gonna ask you to basically sync. Um, so if you hit OK, we're gonna go back to the main page here. I'm sorry, we're gonna go to the events. I'm gonna make sure that the user sync actually went through. So you'll actually see that at 943, we, did, uh, we changed the user code and it automatically, since I have it on auto sync, it automatically synced the users. And then it'll actually let you know the user sync begins, user sync success, and it'll do it one more time. Now, if you do not see this on your events, you need to make sure you do sync. Because if you don't sync the users, there's no way that Total Connect pushes these, pushes these user codes down to the panel. To find the user sync, on the iOS device, you're going to go to my location at the very bottom where it says navigation at the navigation bar. And then you see that's blue sync users. Just tap on that. It'll say syncing. It'll give you a prompt to check your event log. Just hit OK. Or you can go directly to events from there. It takes you to your events. And you'll see that at 944, user sync begins. And the user sync was a success at 9. 44 and 48 seconds. All right, so if we want to test that at the panel, again, the code that I pushed was 5432. 5432. I can actually do that on the panel. I will go to security. Uh, let's say I'll do an arm away and I'll do five, five, four, three, two, and it begins to arm. Yeah, I can disarm it using that code, five, four, three, two, and that code was pushed down. Now, if I go to my user users on the Total Connect for the Android device, that user code that I added on the iOS device on Total Connect, again, everything syncs, it's all in the cloud, right? So Total Connect, once I log back into here, I should see that user that I just created on the iOS device on the Android device. So if I go to users, remember I named it user test. It comes up right here. If I click on it, it'll take me to it. It'll say that L7000 only. You can show the code if you need it, 5432. You can delete the user through that same screen. So if you wanted to get rid of a code on the panel, you can just do delete user. Are you sure? Yes. It's going to delete that user code for me. And again, to verify that it went through, you want to make sure that the user sync pushed. So if I go back to my main screen, just hit the back arrow on the top left. Again, hit the back arrow on the top left. Okay, it's not liking me right now. Give me a second. Um, let's go to my profile. No, oh, yeah, that back arrow should work. It takes me to, to the main page. I'm gonna go to my events. And you'll see that at 946, the user sync began, user sync success. So to delete that user code on the Android tablet, what you need to do to make sure that it went through, you just wanna, in case you don't see a user sync success, to get to the user sync on the uh, Android tablet, you're gonna hit on the top left, the hamburger sign. You go down to settings. You then have to go to locations. Go to location settings. You're gonna hit your L7000 because that's the panel that we're working with. And it'll take you to your whole location. This is also, if it's not in there and you wanna change the address, you could do that through here as well. But I'm gonna keep scrolling down to my access and I'm just gonna do a sync users there just to confirm and uh, just in case it hasn't pushed through, I'll make sure that it actually went through. So it'll say sync users, uh, check your event log. I'm just gonna go ahead and click go to events. It'll take you to my event page. 
or it should take you to the event page. Let me back out. Takes you to events. And you see there 948, which is just a couple seconds ago. The user sync began, and then the user sync was a success, success at 949. Now, if I go to the panel and I try the 5432 code, you will see that the code will no longer work. So, on the panel, I'll do an arm away. I'll enter in the same code that was in there before. 5432, four, and nothing will happen because the code is no longer in there. If I use my master code, which right now we have it set to default, so it's one, two, three, four, it arms fine, no problem. If you try to disarm it with the code that you tried before, it won't work because the code is no longer in the panel. So you have to use an existing code. Boom. So that's just a panel user. We can actually get into an admin and standard user. These are gonna be actual total connect users. I'm going to show you just a quick brief view on how to do that. I'm going to do it on the iOS device. Let's go ahead and go over to users. On the users, I'm going to go ahead and do the plus at the very top. Um, let's say I wanted to make a standard user. So this is just going to be a normal total connect, um, the mobile app user. So once I hit standard, it's going to ask me for a lot of information. It's going to ask me the first and last name. Um, it's going to ask you for a username. Well, I guess I'll put some information in there so you guys can see. Um, standard user. For the username, you have to make sure it's not one that's already being used in Total Connect. So if I were you, I'd recommend just using the email. I'll, I'll put support at alarm grid dot com. Now I actually think this is our main user for the master, so I may throw up an error. So let's hit continue. For the email, so when you first set up Total Connect, you received an welcome emails that made you create a password in order to log into your Total Connect account. These, those same emails are what the new user that you're creating this for are gonna receive. So when you create this user, whoever you're creating it for will receive emails asking them to create a password, which is what you will need to do, which is what they will need to do. Um, so you put in their email, you can put in a text message if you want to, and then once you go to the next field, user access, it's gonna ask you to enter in their code. And again, whenever you're entering a code, it has to be a code that is no longer on the panel, or that is, that is not on the system. If it's a code that is on the system, it will throw up an error when you go to do user syncs. So always keep that in mind. Um, guys, this is just a quick video on how to manage uh, user profiles and create users on Total Connect using both an iOS and an Android. Uh, they're both very similar. The layouts are a little bit different, as you guys could see, but they work. They push this, the code down to the panel. They can delete the code. The panel works fine with the user codes. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you can always email us at support at alarmcare.com. If you guys liked the video and found it helpful, make sure you hit the like button underneath. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the little bell icon to enable notifications. That way, whenever we upload new content, you guys do get notified. Again, my name was George. Thank you guys. I'll see you all next time.